So today I talked about the impact of machine learning and artificial intelligence on the economy as well as on the field of economics and economics research. So I started out by talking about lots of places in the economy where artificial intelligence can be applied, including for prioritizing resources and also for ensuring that workers um, and service providers are provide safe uh, services and, say, adhere to, uh, to safety regulations. Um, those types of, of implementations can have huge benefits in terms of productivity. But they also come with a fair number of risks. And so one of my calls to action is for the research community to do more in terms of understanding um, how to regulate and guide artificial intelligence and machine learning. Um, how do we make sure that these black boxes don't discriminate, have unintended consequences, and so on. And then I talked about some of my own research trying to develop methods that bring together some of the desirable characteristics from traditional economic models um, in characteristics like interpretability, stability, generalizability, and general safety. So how can we bring together some of those features that were characteristics of traditional economic modeling with the new world of big data and machine learning? So we want to get the benefits of the new engineering techniques that allow us to use big data while keeping the benefits from traditional economic modeling. That's a lot of work that I've been doing, um, but there's still a lot more to do. And so I'm, I'm very excited to see the research that we can do over the next years in that area.